In an interview with, I really got out of my comfort travel zone, she said. My mind is now more open. You can find a property that fills across the country but is only two hours away from where you live. There are so many little gems lurking around the corner. Filming began in crowded pre-pandemic Bali in January 2020 but then resumed again last summer. The series is currently available to stream, from a tree house in Atlanta on an alpaca farm to a cabin in Hawaii with a private waterfall to a snake-shaped apartment in Mexico City, the show helps the audience navigate their options and what they want to get out of their next trip, while swooning over some truly beautiful properties, plus, all of the rentals featured on the show are available, as for her favorite properties, Batoon, who provided tips for those on a tighter budget on the show, did love one of the high-end properties on a private island in the Bahamas, but can you blame her, Lodera waking up in the bed of marshmallow pillows in her secluded room. $15,000 per night was one of the best things she ever felt, she recalled. However, she also immensely enjoyed sleeping in a little bamboo pod in Bali, only $24 per night, and meeting people from all over the world at communal dinners. All of the properties were unique in some way, whether that be the location or the amenities or the experience, she told T Plus L. The show also highlights the experiences in these destinations, whether it be activities, culture, or dining. A key point Batoon says to consider in the planning process, it comes down to intention when traveling, she explained. Do I want a spa day or to feel like a kid again and be in a treehouse? Do you want to feel inspired and go to a bunch of museums or be somewhere with great nightlife or do you want to do absolutely nothing and just calm down? That is what travelers need to be asking themselves. This trip changed the definition of vacation for me.